Hey everyone, it's the 4Gun Guy, and today I'm going to do a really quick video on the Tipton Ultra Gun Vise. Now, I've been looking at these as I've cleaned these rifles. They've been a pain in the neck on this bench because I have the bipod deployed and I sometimes have the rear up on a bag, and but it's still moving all over the place. So I thought I wanted to get something that was steady that I could really just use to clean the rifles with. The thing I like about this is it also has an AR attachment. We'll get to that. But I just wanted to go over a really quick and dirty uh, presentation with you, just kind of show you how to use it and how I'm going to use it. So if you're ready to go, let's get started. All right, well, setup couldn't have been easier. It comes with this kind of a sled down here. All these attachments are on it. You do have to kind of reverse them because of the way they package it, but it's got these uh, trays that just kind of sit on here. I really like that. It's got these adjustable clamps. Now, I wasn't sure, but this, this uh, orange part right here, I'll kind of tip it, 22 pound rifle, but this part right here is a softer plastic, so it's not hard plastic so it won't dig into your finish on your uh, firearm. Uh, these are supported by metal brackets here, and it's just really easy. You're just unclamping and then clamping them in. You don't have to torque it down, you know, with a thousand pounds of torque. Uh, you just clamp it in until it's, it's stable. And then it's, I can move these, this whole assembly here up or down, and I've got it to where I want it here for my, this is my six millimeter BRA, my competition rifle. <clears throat> and the other thing I like about this setup is as I clean, I'm going to be cleaning down the barrel. So the barrel's facing down. I'll have my rag at the end. And so everything goes out the end and drops onto the rag. I don't have anything feeding any liquid or cleaning solution feeding back into the chamber area. I clean that a different way anyway. So I want everything floating down the barrel. But again, I can't, you know, this, it's pretty simple setup. You've got these clamps, you've got these sliders that you can move up and down, the trays, and then it does have four adjustable feet here. I think you can see this, that you can, can level it with. Um, now, I'm not sure that you'd take this to the range and use it as a, like a bench rest because you do have a lot of stuff in the way. And as you can see, my, my triggers right here right now and I could adjust things out. I may try it one of these days, I don't know. But this is how I have it set up for my uh, competition rifle. Uh, let me put this piece on because this is the uh, AR. Let me, let me put this on, I'll put an AR in there and we'll see how that looks. Well, I wanted to show you the Tipton Vice in kind of action here. But I got a new scope. I'm doing a video on that as well. And I'm doing a 10 yard, uh, not zero, but it's a 10 yard kind of get in the get in the ballpark calibration, if you will, with the scope and the, and the bore of the rifle. But beside that, I wanted to show you that, uh, you know, this is what uh, this looks like kind of in action here out in the backyard. And I'm going to switch views here now. But you can see that, you know, look, I had to take the bolt out. I had to take the, the cheek riser off, uh, the cheek uh, nut there, uh, my uh, chamber flag or chamber device. And look, this is what I love about this thing. Everything's right here. I didn't have to set it on this table, which has holes in it, by the way. So half of it would have fallen through. But I it all fits right there. The other thing I liked about this is, is I'm zeroing on this kind of target down here on the fence and my adjustments were easy to make with the, with the knobs here uh, on this gun vise. So again, I'm not getting anything out of this guys. I'm just telling you that I really like this vise. It's, it's really turned out to be a, a good investment. All right, well, this is how it looks with the AR setup. And you can see I use that, uh, it's like a, a magazine post here that you slide the AR over. 
uh, and then it's got the clamps up here. I don't know if you can see this. I think you can, how these clamps can also kind of angle in. So they can, can kind of mold around whatever it is you're trying to clamp in there. Now it also has something that I didn't uh, mess with, and that is it's got a um, it's got a trigger stop. So there's a, a black piece here that if had I flipped that over, I could have actioned the trigger, and it would have stopped it. So you don't have the trigger slamming into to the metal there. Uh, I really like how this thing sets up. It's pretty simple to use. It it's level. Uh, and I like the way it grabs a rifle. So if I'm going to work on this thing, it's not really going anywhere. Um, so, yeah. Look, I just wanted to kind of run this uh, through. If, there, if you're in the market for one of these things, again, I don't think it's too much money for something this, this uh, stable. I can tell you, yeah, this is plastic, but it's that really hard plastic. I, I can't think of what the name of it is, but it's not cheap plastic that's going to break. You'd have to, you'd have to do a lot to this to, to break this plastic. Now, on one other uh, video that I did see, someone was talking about there's some ridges right here on the plastic post here, and uh, he actually kind of sanded all this down. I'm, I'm not seeing, like, I've got that torqued down pretty good, and I'm putting pressure on there. It's it's not it's moving just a pinch. You'd have to put a whole lot of pressure or a whole lot of weight and probably more weight than you're supposed to put on this thing for that to move. But hey, I may take that out, sand that down, make sure there's a smooth surface for the claw here to grab onto. But other than that, this again is the uh, Tipton Ultra Gun Vice. And I got it on Amazon, I think for one 114, 119, something around there. I'll put it up there. Uh, I'll put it up here and put it in the description in case you're interested. Got it overnight and now I'm using it. So hey, I hope you enjoyed this one. Tried to keep it short and simple. When I come across little, you know, simple stuff like this that makes our tasks easier, uh, whether we're cleaning a rifle or disassembling it or doing something like even mounting a scope, right? When I mount a scope on a rifle, Guess where I'm going to put the thing? I'm going to put it in this vise and lock it down. I may even take this to the range to do that. Uh, it's light enough to do that. So just some more things to consider. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. And until next time, guys, shoot straight.